Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to access your Homebridge setup that's on a Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world using a super cool tool called Zero Tier. Now, if you've been wanting to manage your smart home securely without opening up your entire network to the internet, this is the video for you. So what is Zero Tier? In simple terms, it's a virtual network that lets your devices communicate as if they are on the same local network, even if they are physically miles apart. It's secure, easy to set up, and best of all, it's free for personal use. And it's perfect for accessing your Homebridge dashboard without exposing it to the open web. But before we go into the setup, I just wanted to share with you all the benefits that I've had using the setup. Secured remote access without port forwarding. Now Zero Tier allows home users to securely access their home bridge setup from anywhere in the world without exposing their network to risk. Unlike traditional port forwarding, which can make your network vulnerable to external hacking, Zero Tier uses end-to-end -end encryption to ensure only authorized devices can connect to each other. And if you have multiple homes with Homebridge setup, this is simply perfect, easy to set up and use. Now, Zero Tier simplifies the process of creating a virtual private network, which I will show you in this video. Its installation and configuration on a Raspberry Pi takes only a few steps, making it an ideal solution even for those who are in networking experts. Now, the Zero Tier dashboard is user-friendly and makes managing devices pretty straightforward. It works across multiple platforms. Homeowners can access their Homebridge service using any device such as smartphones, tablets, or laptop. This flexibility ensures you can control your smart home from any device you have on hand. Now, this one's my favorite, no dependency on cloud services. Zero Tier operates locally and doesn't rely on third-party cloud services for connectivity. This means homeowners retain full control over their data and avoid potential outages or privacy concerns associated with cloud-based solutions. Last but not the least, low-cost solution for remote connectivity. Zero Tier is free for personal use with up to three networks and 10 devices, making it a cost-effective solution for homeowners Instead of investing in paid VPN services, ZeroTire provides a lightweight, budget-friendly option to manage your smart home remotely. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and see my pro tips for this setup. Secure the IP address. Within your router settings, make sure you reserve the IP address as well as bookmark your Homebridge URL for quick access. Two, monitor bandwidth. ZeroTire although is lightweight, but it's always good to keep an eye on usage if you are on a limited data plan. Use secure passwords. This is the top most important one. Make sure your Homebridge interface is password protected for added security. In this case, please use alphanumeric and special characters. With all of this out, let's go ahead and set up that remote access. What we're going to do first is go ahead and log in to zerotier.com. I've left the link in the description and I'm going to be using my Google sign in with this platform. So go ahead and click it, accept the terms of services, and then you can go ahead and select the email address. And all we have to do right now is create a network and then go and select the network. It automatically generates a network ID, which we will need for setup. And then within settings, you can go ahead and give it a name. In my case, I'll update it to Homebridge so I know what network it is. And then you want to keep the access control to private. And under advanced, here you can go and select any IP range you want. You have all of the options. In my case, I'll go ahead and select 192.168.196. And then no other options you need to tweak. It, it's that simple. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to now go ahead onto our iPhone and going to go ahead and configure zero tier. What we're going to do first is go ahead and access your app store and then go and look for zero tier and go ahead and download this application. Once this is completed, let's go ahead and open up the app, accept the terms of services 
and then from here you're going to tap on the plus sign and you want to copy the network id paste it and then enable in default route as well as the network dns now from here you want to make sure you want to want to connect it over the 4g but before that zero tier will add in some configurations to your vpn put in your iphone password and then enable the network over here over the 4g i tried it over wi-fi it didn't work so make sure you disable your wi-fi and keep it over your 5g or 4g and then give it a couple of seconds to connect the vpn and then you want to go ahead and click on check for new nodes you want to give it a couple of seconds you can also go ahead and refresh the page now once that is done you'll see that it's identified on the zero tie web page and you want to make sure that the address that you currently see on your phone the 524 is also there go ahead select it and click on authorize you want to give it a couple of seconds from that ip address that you selected under settings it will be assigned to this device so in my case it start, ends with dot 205 connected to the address that my phone has you can go ahead and name the device in my case as iphone save and then you can close the window now from here the next step is to go ahead and install zero tier on the raspberry pi 5 so we're going to go ahead and ssh into the raspberry pi 5 in my case is 10.2 put in the password and then from here what we're going to do is go ahead and access the download sections of zero tier click on linux and just copy paste this command using the sudo before it hit enter give it a couple of seconds to install the software very lightweight and then from here that's the address assigned to the raspberry pi 5 what we're going to do is now allow this raspberry pi 5 to join the network that we created so copy this command paste it and then you want to copy the network id and paste it now if i hit enter i'm going to see an error we have to run this command as a super user so go ahead and type in sudo allowing the raspberry pi to join that network that we've created once you see that okay all we're going to do right now is go back to the zero tier web page and click on check for new nodes there it is so we're going to go ahead and click on refresh and you want to make sure the network address is the same authorize and now give it a couple of seconds that virtual network will assign it a ip address and also if you need you can go ahead and give it a name so in my case i'm going to name it as homebridge now from where you can see that my iphone and my home bridge are on the same network that we've created within zero tier once this is completed you can go ahead and add in more devices it allows you 10 devices so this could be your macbook or your windows pc to make sure that all of the devices that you see here can access that home bridge raspberry pi so let's go ahead and access home bridge and then you want to go to settings and under settings you want to scroll down and access the network interfaces and then you want to select that network interface that we just created you want to click save and go ahead and restart the raspberry pi now once this is completed this allows the home bridge to be accessed over that interface making it available to the outside world now once this is completed we can check now that everything is good for us to go now to use our cell phone and connect to the raspberry pi over the cellular network so what we're going to do now is access our phone disable the wi-fi and we're going to be using the ip address so in this case is 192.168.196123 you give it a couple of seconds for it to access it and there you have it over the 4g network i'm able to access it so i'm going to use the username and password and in my first try i'm going to put that password as a wrong one and log in so we see invalid username and password and it's also reporting in the home bridge log so let's go ahead now and put in the right password hit and log in and now you'll see that it's logging in into the network over the 4g so we can access our home bridge from the outside world so what i'm going to do is go to power options i'm just going to restart the home bridge service and there you are over my 4g network i can now access my home bridge and also restart the service which is a very important thing that we typically look for and you can also access the logs and it's as if you're connected to the device locally and there you have it folks with zero tier 
you've got a simple, secure and free way to access your Homebridge service from anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe for more DIY smart home videos. Until the next time my friends, cheers and happy automation.